Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me for his regular um, book review is Mr. Bob Cook. How are you doing, Bob? I'm very well, thanks, boy. Now, you've got um, one in really interesting book tonight by someone that I've met very briefly and you know very well, Richard Erskine. Yeah, yes. a man who's credited with being one of the pioneers of relational TA, I believe. Uh, well, he's the pioneer of integrative uh, transaction analysis from a relational perspective. Right, well, there we go. Perhaps it's the and same thing and perhaps it isn't. Is <laughs> why it's important is that the modern re relational transaction analysis movement, uh, which was formed in 2009, really, comes from Helena Hargard and Charles Sills. Um, and it quite often gets mixed up from, uh, you know, with Richard Erskine's integrative relational movement. So oh. it's very easy to do. All right. So there's, there's two, there's, 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 so it sounds like there's two perspectives, but this is this is Erskine's own view right. of things, Correct. and it's called Theories and Methods of Integrative TA by Richard no. Erskine. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to look. Theories and Methods of Integrated Transaction Analysis by Richard Erskine. There we way go. Way back in 1977, over 40 years ago. Wow. So what, what makes this book so interesting, Bob? Well, it's a historical document. It's a long time ago. Um, Richard Erskine is now 76, and even when he wrote this in uh, 77, uh, 76, um, you know, he'd written quite a lot of articles, well-known psychotherapy articles. He was well-known in the TA movement, the early, early origins of TA. Uh, I'm not quite sure if he studied with Byrne, but he certainly studied with Fritz Perls because he did Gestalt training for a while. Um, but he went on to become really interested in transaction analysis, and he trained with some of the early pioneers of TA. And in 19... 76, 1977, he put this book together of um, probably 40, uh, is it right, 30, 40 of his well-known articles at that time. And so it, it, we're going back to the beginnings of TA. So the beginnings of his ideas on, this is Richard Erskine's ideas on script, some of his ideas on rackets, some of his ideas on um, the methodology of an integrative psychotherapy, some of his ideas on the three dimensions of human behavior, some of his ideas on uh, early transactional analysis and how to use it. Okay, I heard something quite interesting there that I think it might be interesting to explore, the three dimensions of human behavior. What's that, Bob? Well, let's just put that into, um, you know, his article. His article, I think, uh, is called The ABC of Psychotherapy, or The ABC of Integrative Psychotherapy, if I can remember it quite rightly. And it's not so much three dimensions of behaviour. I think I need to put that in context, really. It, it, it's the origins of a model which he went to coin later on in 1988, and he called the model um, self-in-relationship model, where he talks about three dimensions of human functioning rather than behavior actually and he talked about the behavioral aspects of the human personality the emotional aspects uh, the cognitive aspect and that you can actually um, enter into the world of the client or through any of these different dimensions whether it be cognitive whether it be thinking whether it be behavior um, uh, and it really was the origins of his first idea of integration. Yes, because that, that sounds like he's joined from quite a few schools there. Yeah. Behavioural right. school. He sounds yeah. also, I th think, might be jo joined maybe from the person-centred school or the humanistic school. Well, certainly when we think of um, his first supervisor, that was, was, if this is true, talking to Richard himself, um, was... Um, a supervisor that worked with um, Rogers himself, just down yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, in the college Rogers was in. Uh, David Kupner, is it? Um, so some of Erskine's early ideas, interestingly enough, comes from Rogers himself. Certainly the ideas, I think, if we look back at some of the methods of integrative psychotherapy that he talks about, attunement, involvement, inquiry, the ideas of attunement 
uh, and staying behind the client and actually attuning to the rhythm of the client comes very much from the humanistic tradition, I think. It, do, Carl it does, and I spoke to Richard Erskine about six or eight months ago, I, I did an interview with him, and um, he was telling me the same thing, that one of his supervisors was a contemporary of Rogers, you know, and that's, it's, it's kind of interesting how all the theories tend to, you know, when you, when you kind of dig deep enough, they all, they all kind of mesh a little bit, or touch, you know. Yeah, well, and, and Erskine is a unique character, not just because of himself, but because he studied with some of the foremost um, people, like, as I said, Burl, you know, uh, Fritz Perls, who created Gestalt Psychotherapy, mm -hmm. um, Eric Byrne, who created Transaction Analysis. And if his supervisor was David Kupner, then that's very early access to some of the thinkings and the beliefs of, uh, you know, Rogers himself. Yeah, it's fascinating. And the book sounds to me like a collection of essays, maybe. A collection yeah, of writings. Articles which he wrote. Um, the one, the article I really like, um, written way back then, is talking about integration, as I said, mm. and also talking about you know a series of methods um, for psychotherapists, um, which he calls inquiry, attunement, involvement. A very nice article. Also, his ideas on script, which come straight out of, of course, Eric Byrne. Mm. So you've got the origins of transaction analysis there. And you've got a series of articles, you, you're perfectly right, which he wrote early on. But as the book goes on, it talks about his later articles as well in 77. Um, uh, and there's a forward in there. There's a very young picture of Richard Erskine, I must say, uh, way back in time. Um, so, you know, that's there as well. So it's a, it's, it's a good book, I think. It's it sort of develops the arc of psychotherapy in the TA movement and perhaps the humanistic tradition, if we look at it that way. Yeah, an historical document, one that charts the, the movement of TA, yeah. adapting to other ideas. And I would yeah. imagine quite important for any student who's studying oh, relational yeah. TA. Yeah, ab absolutely. Looking back at um, Erskine's idea of integration way back then, uh, that first article um, I don't know it was 73, 74, I think it was called the ABC of Psychotherapy, looking at how when you, when you actually um, work with clients, you can come alongside and be attuned, if you like, to uh, a cognitive way of expression, you know, an emotional way of expression and a behavioural way of expression. Mm. I mean, it comes on the back, if you think about it, of the behavioural revolution uh, mm. by in the uh, 60s and you had the cognitive ideas as well um, coming along there and they've come together and now we get the modern CBT of course yeah, yeah so so you are right if we look we look at all these origins in the last 70 or 80 years they're they're coming from um, many many different uh, authors but you know very well um, looked at I think in Erskine's book yeah, it's interesting because I was just thinking when I did my teaching qualification, we were taught about the cognitive, the effect, cognitive domain, the thinking domain, the effective, the feeling, and the psychomotor, how people behave and, and use yeah. themselves. And, right. and it's something that comes up quite a lot in, in therapy, you know, that people will oscillate between those three domains of, uh, of, right. of I use the term yeah. learning, but of, of being, yeah. Yeah, and of course... What really then uh, became a hallmark of his organisation uh, was he added a, he added uh, a physiological domain there, which made a fourth, and then in his uh, self and relationship model he put a circle, well sorry, a diamond around those four points, um, which um, he then filled in to symbolise relationship. How interesting! So in other words, in other words, that the relationship is the actual uh, overarching concept that links all the four dimensions of the self. And without the human re relationship and the encounter between the therapist and the clients, they're more like techniques. Yes. Yes, they're more like the lyrics of a song without the music. Yeah, that's a wonderful way to look at it. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Without the attention to the relationship, you lose contact with the client in front of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's a lesson that I think I think all therapists can take away because no matter what modality of therapy, there's a lot of research out there saying that the relationship, a good quality relationship, and the ability to repair fractures in the relationship are give the best indicators for a good outcome in therapy. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good lesson to take away. So, Bob, we're going to put a link, uh, for those of you who are watching, we're going to put a link in the comments bar below. And we're going to, um, I'm going to put a link to the book and uh, also um, a link to maybe some other other information about Erskine. And also let's have some comments in the comments bar below. What do you think? Are you someone who studied relational TA? What's your view of the work of Richard Erskine and the relational school? And uh, as always, this isn't a paid product placement. This is Bob just sharing his love of books and literature. Um, so as always, Bob, thank you for sharing that knowledge. And uh, we'll see you in the next book review, I guess. You will. I think it's number, I think this was number 24. So the next one I think is number 25. Yes, we'll see you. We'll see you in 20, 25. That's how old I am, Bob. <laughs> thank you.